Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. In part one of this scribbling tutorial, we talked about using the scribble effect to create scribbles from masks and text. In part two, we're going to cover a few advanced tips on getting the most out of this tool, including using Adobe Illustrator to allow us to create more complex shapes and animation. But first, in part one, I used the After Effects feature called Create Outlines so that we could use our text to create shapes that the scribble effect could use. But what if you don't want to convert text? What if you want to convert animation? Well, you may remember from an earlier tutorial called Super Tight Junk Mats that After Effects has a feature called Auto Trace that allows you to create a new layer with masks that closely match a layer's alpha channel. Let's quickly look at an example of using Auto Trace along with the Scribble effect to create something interesting. So here I am in After Effects where I have an animation of a 3D character running across the screen. While I'm using 3D, you can do this with keyed footage or even 2D animation over an alpha channel. That's up to you. Let's quickly apply an Auto Trace. Select our runner and choose Layer, Auto Trace. An Auto Trace dialog pops up. Now I've covered these options in my Super Tight Junk Mats tutorial, so I'm not going to go into detail here. But the two options we most want to focus on is this one called Time Span, which will set to Work Area instead of the current frame, and the one called Channel. For that, I'm going to choose Alpha. Click OK, and After Effects will spend a little time tracing the image. Now, if we scrub through time, we won't see anything except a white background and maybe, maybe a hint of our runner. And that's because our background is white and the auto trace layer is white as well. If we toggle our transparency grid, we can see a white silhouette of our runner as we scrub through time. Next, let's add the scribble effect. Select our auto trace layer and choose Effect Generate Scribble. Ooh, now we can see our runner through our scribbles, which isn't right, so let's just turn off that layer's eyeball switch to make it invisible. Next, let's bring back our white background using the toggle transparency grid button again. And who again, you won't be able to see anything because our background is white and the scribble is white. So let's fix that. With our auto traced layer selected, let's take a look in the effects panel. First off, Let's change the scribble option from single mask to all masks using modes. You see, when you auto trace animation, you're usually going to come up with several masks that interact with each other. And we saw in part one, we need to use this option to get our scribbles to behave properly. Bad scribbles. Next, let's change the color to black and then set the angle to 90. Next, I'm going to twirl down the stroke options here, which reveals a bunch of properties. I'll set the curviness down to zero and the curviness variation down to zero as well. This ensures that none of the scribbles will be curvy and will instead be sharp edged. Just so you can see, turning up the curviness does create interesting results, just not what I'm looking for right now. Let me undo that. Okay. Next, I'm going to turn up the spacing property to about eight. This spaces the scribbles further apart, which as an end result creates less lines of scribble altogether. Next, let's look at the option called Path Overlap. If you raise the value, it spreads out each line of scribble so they overlap each other. I'm going to do the opposite and set it to negative 10, which sort of chokes or tightens the area being scribbled. A quick RAM preview, and I like it. It kind of looks like those flipbook animations you drew in the corners of your high school notebooks. At least I did anyway. You know, now that I think about it, I kind of did that a lot instead of paying attention in class. It probably explains why I don't know anything about the New Deal or where the country of Chad is located on a map. Hmm. But, moving on. While we can use After Effects to create complex animation, what if we're dealing with very precise shapes like a logo? Auto Trace is great for what we just did, but it's not perfectly precise. But if that logo was created in Adobe Illustrator or it's in a vector format that Illustrator can read, then we can use the paths from Illustrator and bring them into After Effects for scribbling. So here I am in Illustrator with the Creative Cow logo. Before we do anything, you need to make sure that one of your preferences is set to allow copying and pasting of paths from Illustrator into After Effects. Choose Edit, Preferences, File Handling, and Clipboard. Or if you're on a Macintosh, Illustrator, Preferences, File Handling, and Clipboard. 
and make sure that the option called AICB is checked on. Click OK to exit. Next, let's select everything by choosing Select All and then choose Edit Copy. Now, in After Effects, I have a composition measuring 640 by 480, and I have a solid there the same size. I'll select the solid and choose Edit Paste. As you can see, the shapes making up the Creative Cow logo have been converted into masks for my solid layer. Okay, now I'm going to zoom up to 100% here, which means things are going to be a little bit cramped. But I need to do this because I'm going to be using precise settings for my scribbles, and I want the results to be visible to you. So, select the solid layer and choose Effect, Generate, Scribble. And in the Effects panel, let's set the color to a dark blue, almost black. Also, Make sure that we have the scribble option set to all masks using modes. I'm going to set the stroke width to a very fine 0.3. Then I'll twirl down the stroke options and set the spacing to 1, which tightens things up. I'll set the path overlap variation to 2, which gives some variation in scribble size while still keeping it pretty cohesive. Finally, I'll set the wiggle type to static. Next, I'm going to duplicate the entire layer by selecting it in the timeline and hitting Control D, or if you're in a Macintosh, Command D. Then, with the top layer selected, I'll go into the Effects panel and change the Scribble Effects angle to negative 60. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, using the animation techniques that we covered in Part 1 of this tutorial, we can animate the logo scribbling on over time. And if you have a logo with multiple colors, you can separately copy and paste the different colored illustrator shapes and put them on different solid layers with a different scribble color in After Effects. Okay, finally, what if you're using a picture and not Illustrator art? Well, Illustrator has a great tool called Live Trace, which I covered in depth in part two of my cartoonification tutorial. Using this feature, we can auto trace the picture and click the expand button to separate out the parts. Then choose object, ungroup, so that we can select the parts individually. In this case, I have a black and white image, so I'll select one of the black elements and choose select, same, fill color, which selects all of the black parts and then choose edit, copy. Then, in After Effects, just do what we did with the logo. Paste it in, add the scribble effect, and go to town. Don't forget, you can get the files for this and other podcasts at www.creativecow.net forward slash AEPodcast. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.